Come on, Slowpokes, let's go! Sorry, Sawgwa. That's okay. Dongwa, wait for us! I know we can find him, Shigwa. Dongwa? Come out, come out wherever you are. Okay, game's over. You win. Ah! Ah! I win. You said it. I win. Yeah. Once again, the big brother is the champ. <laughs> Once again, the big brother is a pain. That was fun. Let's play again. Sounds great to me, Shigwa. But let's up the stakes this time. How about... Loser cleans the clubhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, oopsie daisies. Hey, that wasn't funny, Chet Chet. Don't get your tail in a knot, Sagwa. We were just having fun. Hey, maybe we should dump water on you. Your face is all dirty. <laughs> That's not dirt. It's her markings. He knows, Shigwa. He's just trying to make me mad. Better get back to the palace so your mama can clean you up. <laughs> <laughs> mama? Oh my gosh! We have to finish the scrolls! She made us promise! Your face is all dirty. I looked this way for a reason. Sogwa, hurry up! Come on! <laughs> Whoops! Hey, be careful, please! What happened? Sorry. Accident. Well, watch it the next time. I don't see why we have to practice writing anyway. I'd much rather be practicing my gung fu. Yeah! <laughs> hey, what's so funny? You! <laughs> Come on, Shigwa. Don't make fun of our brother. He's just trying to be... Yeah! Hey, we've got it. Will you please finish your writing? Mama will be here any minute. Don't you want her to be proud of you? What's there to be proud of anyway? That we're practicing our writing. Big deal. That's your idea of a good time? Dongwa, you know our family tradition. We've always been calligraphers. Calligra... what's that? Calligraphy is the art of writing words so that they look very beautiful. And for many generations, it has been our family's honor to write down the official scrolls of all the magistrates of this province. Boy, Sogwa, you sound just like our father when you say that. What's wrong with that? I like it when Baba talks. Hey, I said cut it out! <laughs> <laughs> What's going on in here? It's time for bed. But, Mama, we're not sleepy yet. Nope, not sleepy. Well, that's two of you. Where's Sabwa? Here I am, Mama. Sabwa, what are you doing up there? How many times do I have to tell you not to climb so high? I'm sorry, Mama. Now to bed with all of you. And Sagwa, please try to be more careful. Do you remember what happened the first time you climbed up high and got yourself into such trouble? Yes, Mama. I remember. Well, I don't remember. That's because you were only a baby. Don't call me a baby. Dongwa, be nice to your little sister. But she was a baby then. She was barely born. Dongwa, I said... I'm sorry, Mama, but sometimes she asks the silliest questions. 
Dongwa. Okay, okay. Sorry. I can't help it if I was so little I can't remember. So what did happen? Oh no, not this story again. Please, Mama, please. What happened? Well, Sagwa, do you mind if I tell your story again? Oh, that. Well, if you want to. Well, all right then. Let's see. It all started one morning at breakfast. <laughs> Come on now, children. We have to hurry, or your father and I are going to be late for work. Yes, we must go. The master is waiting. Why? Pardon me, Dongwa. Why do you have to go? Why do you have to go and write down those ridiculous rules anyway? Wh what? What are you talking about, my son? That is our job, our duty. But don't you hate writing down the magistrate's silly old rules? Sometimes he's so unfair. Dongwa, it is not for us to say what is fair and what is not. We are only cats. And very lucky cats, I might add. Look at where you live. Look at what you eat. Do you think the alley cats have it this good? Young man, I do not ever want to hear you talk like that again. Yes. If you're ever overheard, we will all be tossed out in the alley. Or worse, Dongwa. Remember your place. But... No buts. Finish your breakfasts. We will be back later. My dear, only 93 gold pieces from finding your people this week. 93! What's wrong with 93? Well, dear, there's nothing wrong with 93. Except, well, except if we had collected more, then I would be able to have new robes made for our three beautiful daughters. I said, our three beautiful daughters. <laughs> now, where was I? Oh, yes. You see, my darling, you are, after all, the ranking magistrate in this province. And, well, your people expect your beautiful daughters, and, of course, myself, to dress in a certain regal style. Yes, my Lotus Blossom, whatever you say. Yes, mm. exactly. So, it's quite simple. More rules, more rules, more fines, more fines, more money for your beautiful daughters. <gasps> Don't you agree? Yes, of course. Anything you say. Well, 